Nope. Right. What's up, y'all? It's Maddie. So, kind of a mess behind me, and I am currently still in the middle of unpacking and getting completely moved in and cleaned up, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to sit down and film this video for a while for y'all, and I actually just found my James Avery, James Avery jewelry, so I thought it was a perfect chance to sit down and film this for y'all. So if y'all didn't know, um, James Avery, I believe is a more Southern based jewelry store. Um, they do have an online page if y'all wanna go check it out. Um, and I get their catalogs every month. They do specialize in like real silver jewelry and their jewelry being very high quality, which I can attest to, I can show y'all um, when I get into my jewelry that I do own. Um, they also are really awesome about like cleaning your jewelry and all of that stuff. They do, I believe it's called solder, the charms onto your bracelet. So they do like rings, charm bracelets. Um, they have like other kinds of bracelets, necklaces, again, like charm necklaces that you can get, earrings, all that kind of stuff. Um, I know that they have branched into gold a little bit and I know they do sell some items that have like birthstones and stuff in them. Mine's all pretty plain silver. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into showing y'all the my jewelry. I do wanna say that I do wear this jewelry pretty much every day. I do work as a CNA though, so I'm putting on gloves all the time and rings can hold a lot of bacteria. So we're kind of told to wear as little jewelry as possible if we do wanna wear a wedding band or anything like that. They do ask us that it's like a plain silver band or that it is um, like a plastic band just for infection control purposes when it comes to gloves, hand washing, and all of that. Because when I'm at work, if I got something on my hands, I'm gonna wanna take all of these off and it's gonna take time to put them back on. It's just, I don't wear them to work. <laughs> so without further ado, I wanna get into this and show y'all my jewelry. So the first ring I'm gonna show y'all is actually this ring and I don't know the official names for them. I think they have a, like official name. So I do believe that you can still get this ring. All of their rings do come with the little symbol inside. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all. Um, you can kind of see it. It kind of looks like a pitchfork. Um, they are real silver. They don't turn your fingers or anything. This ring, y'all, I have had since I was 13. So this year on my 21st birthday, it will be eight years that I have had this ring, um, which is pretty impressive. It looks really good. It gets a little stuck on my finger. The scratches are part of the wear and on the inside it is a bit tarnished, but they do sell like tarnishing rags and stuff and they will clean your jewelry. So I don't worry too much about it. I also want to add that my parents got me this ring when I was 13 so that I would know that God was always with me. So it is very sentimental as well. Um, the next ring that I'm gonna show y'all was actually my graduation present from my parents. So this was like my class ring. Here I'm gonna show y'all real quick. You can really see the James Avery symbol. So this ring um, is a compass, whoops. I did help pick it out. Um, I was gonna do a class ring like from my school, but I decided that I liked the James Avery ring better. And my parents did have it engraved. Let me see if I can show y'all. So this, it says Lava You, which is what my tattoo says as well. Um, so that's a, a thing between my dad and I. I've explained it in my tattoo video. I'm not gonna get into it too much on this one, this video, but you can have stuff engraved. I think they either charge per letter or something like that, or over so many letters it becomes so much more, but they do a really nice job. They're really clean lines. Um, and it's a, I think you can choose fonts and stuff. So. This ring I did get for myself. It's a ring of Texas. So I have lived in Texas since 2009. I was born in California, lived in Minnesota for about eight years, but I do claim to be a Texan. So I did get myself this Texas ring. Um, it's very cute, I think. It's got like the braided looking sides or rope looking, I guess. Um, very cute. And just for reference, I believe my ring finger is a seven. Um, and I think these fingers are like an eight. They, they're supposed to be about the same size, but my fingers aren't, or they have like half sizes and stuff. They'll measure your finger and all that if you go into their store. Now I'm gonna go into my charm bracelet and I'm actually gonna take it off for this. So I wanna say that usually around Christmas time or major holidays, they'll do specials on their charm bracelets where if you 
buy two charms you get the bracelet free or one thing or another oh, the charm bracelets are pretty cool i want to show you all real quick so they mine you can get some different looking chains i believe i know there's like one that's like all metal um like a regular bracelet almost like like you slide the charms on if that makes sense but it also has this extra um little chain to where if it comes undone um you can you know it just makes it easier to put on it's just super high quality so is the clasp and then again you have your 925 silver um i believe that's what that's for and then the james avery little attachment on there right next to the clasp so i'm just gonna go around not in the order that i got them so i believe this is actually my most recent charm it is a california charm i believe i got it for last christmas so it's got a little heart and it just says California for where I was born. I believe my sister got a sweet tea for this. I don't think they had a Minnesota charm for where she was born. Um, I did get with my graduation ring a 2018, right? uh, 2018 charm. And these are also all James Avery charms. They have the James Avery symbol on the back. I do know that you can take in non-James Avery charms, but they charge you to put them on. If you get James Avery charms, they do put them on for free and you can normally drop your bracelet off, leave it there for a couple hours and come back and get it. I did get the, this dragonfly was part of one that my, one of the charms my parents picked out for me when they gave this to me. Dragonflies are super sentimental to me and I'm actually planning on getting a tattoo of one really soon. So I'll be sure to share the meaning of that with y'all and um, why I got it and everything. So they've been sentimental for me for a very long time. So, um, I was really against buying myself charms and James Avery jewelry, but I decided to get my Texas ring and I decided to get my little sister, a little sister charm. So I wanted to get myself a big sister charm. So I did, and it's super cute. Um, this one, you don't get to pick the font or anything. This is what it comes like. Um, so this is just what I got. And then this heart was also one of the ones that came with my bracelet. One of the charms my parents picked out. Um, and then I do have this granddaughter pendant, uh, pendant, granddaughter charm. This is from my grandpa. We aren't super close anymore, but I do just leave it on here. Um, I have thought about getting it taken off, but I just haven't. So yeah, this is my little bracelet and they can adjust the size. It is easier to take away, um, parts of the chain then add more on they told my parents so I think both of our bracelets were a little big but they'll just take some off for you if that's the case and it makes it super easy to put on yourself so let me see here I believe I got my bracelet it was for Christmas twenty seventeen I want to say so it's still looking real good. And I've only had to have this one polished like once. I took it in a hot tub, but um, yeah. Their jewelry is super high quality. Um, if you're thinking about getting a girl in your life a charm bracelet, um, these are a really big thing where I'm from. The charm bracelets, lots of women wear them. It's kind of a thing to have people buy you charms and fill it up kind of as you go. I know some girls get them really young here. I was like 16, 17 when I got mine, I believe. So yeah, these, these are expensive, so you don't wanna lose it. So um, yeah, they're super high quality though, and they're always so kind in there. If you go in and you're not completely sure what they're, you're looking for, they'll give you time to look around, like, answer any questions. They've always been so, so helpful there. And honestly, for this kind of jewelry, for like real silver rings and stuff, I feel like their prices aren't absolutely outrageous. Excuse me. Oh, and they are, they are top of the line. Like, I really mean that. Like I said, I've had this ring for almost eight years. I may have to get it resized, but I can still get it on. It doesn't make my fingers swell or anything. So hopefully we won't have to, but I love them. I love them. I will leave. A link for the James Avery stores uh, the James Avery website in my description box if y'all want to check it out and um, also I will link the store locator if y'all were ever curious maybe you're taking a road trip and you want to see if there's gonna be one on the way I would definitely recommend stopping in it is just a different kind of experience so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one bye babes